Hey guys, welcome to Big Gear Soft Science. Today we are going to discuss 25 objective type questions for industrial direction control. So without skipping, watch the video till the end. And before starting, those who are new, please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon. So starting from the first question, the consideration involves in the selection of the type of electric drive for a particular application depends upon a speed control range and its nature, b starting nature, c environmental condition, d all of the above. And the correct answer is all of the above. Question 2. Which of the following motor is preferred for automatic drives? A. Ward Leonard control DC motor. B. Squirrel case induction motor. C. Synchronous motor. D. Sun motors. And the correct answer is Ward Leonard control DC motor. Question 3. The consideration involved in the section of the type of electric drive for the load variation application depend upon A. Constant load. B. Continuous variable load. C. Pulsating load. D. All of the above. And the correct answer is all of the above. Question 4. This drive is also called as line shaft drive. A. Individual drive. B. Multimotor drive. C. Group drive. D. None of the above. And the correct answer is group drive. Question 5. The advantages of a group driver electric drive are A. High efficiency. B. Low noise. C. Constant speed. D. All of the above. And the correct answer is high efficiency. Question 6. The disadvantages of group drive electric machine is are A. Low efficiency. B. Low overload capacity. C. Can't be used for constant operation. D. All of the above. And the correct answer is can't be used for constant operation. Question 7. In this drive, each machine is driven by its own separate motor with the help of gears and pulley. A. Individual drive. B. Multimotor drive. C. Group drive. D. None of the above. And the correct answer is individual drive. Question 8. The advantages of the individual drive is or are A. Flexibility in operation. B. Each machine can be run or stop as desired. C. Maintenance of line sub. Bearing is eliminated. D. All of the above. And the correct answer is all of the above. Question 9. The drive which is used for metal cutting machines, tools, rolling mills, etc. are A. Individual drive. B. Multimotor drive. C. Group drive. D. None of the above. And the correct answer is multimotor drive. Question 10. This duty cycle consists of frequent on-load and off-load period. A. Continuous duty with constant load. B. Continuous duty with the variable load. C. Short time duty. D. Intermittent duty. And the correct answer is intermittent duty. Question 11. Which duty cycle is required if the load requires a constant power for short period of time and rest for sufficient longer duration? A. Short time duty. B. Intermittent duty. C. Intermittent duty with starting. D. Intermittent duty with starting and breaking. And the correct answer is short time duty. Question 12. Which of the following motors is preferred for traction work? A. Synchronous motor. B. Three phase induction motor. C. DC sun motor. D. Single phase induction motor. And the correct answer is three phase induction motor. Question 13. For an application which requires smooth and precise speed control over the wide range, the motor is preferred is a. Squirrel case induction motor, B. Synchronous motor, D. DC motor, D. One rotor induction motor. And the correct answer is DC motor. Question 14. Which type of drive can be used for hoisting machinery? A. AC slip ring motor, B. Ward Leonard method, C. Cumulative compound motor, D. All of the above. And the correct answer is all of the above. Question 15. Which type of drive can be used for textile industry? A. DC motor, B. Squirrel case induction motor, C. Cumulative compound motor, D. Synchronous motor. And the correct answer is Squirrel case induction motor. Question 16. Which type of drive can be used for mining process? Option A. DC motor with Ward Leonard speed control, B. Double squirrel case induction motor, C. Slip ring induction motor, D. All of the above. And the correct answer is all of the above. Question 17. A one rotor induction motor is preferred over a squirrel case induction motor when the major consideration involved is a high starting torque b low starting current c speed control over the limited range d all of the above and the correct answer is all of the above question 18 under which of the following condition the squirrel case induction motor is preferred over the one rotor induction motor 
A. When an external voltage is to be re necessarily into the rotor. B. When the wide range of speed control is required. C. When the cost is the measure of consideration. D. When higher starting torque is required. And the correct answer is when the cost is the major consideration. Question 19. These are employed for the operation of Zoe Crusher. A. DC sand one motor. B. Squirrel case induction motor. C. Belted slip ring induction motor. D. Any DC motor. And the correct answer is belted slip ring induction motor. Question 20. A synchronous motor is found more economical when the load is above A. 1 kW, B. 10 kW, C. 20 kW, D. 100 kW. And the correct answer is 100 kW. 21. When quick speed reversal is a consideration, the motor preferred is A. Synchronous motor, B. Squirrel case induction motor, 3. One rotor induction motor, D. DC motor. And the correct answer is DC motor. 22. Stator voltage control for the speed control of induction motor is suitable for A. Fan and pump drive, B. Drive of a crane, C. Running as the generator, D. Constant load drive. And the correct answer is fan and pump drive. 23. The selection of control gear for a particular application is based on the consideration of A. Duty, B. Starting torque, C. Limitation of starting current, D. All of the above. And the correct answer is all of the above. 24. As compared to three phase induction motor, the advantage of synchronous motor in addition to its constant speed is A. Higher power factor, B. Better efficiency, C. Both A and B, D. None of the above. And the correct answer is both A and B. Question 25. In motor, the static frequency charges are used for A. Power factor management, B. Improved cooling, C. Reversal of direction, D. Speed regulation. And the correct answer is speed regulation. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share the video with your friends. If you have any queries, please let me know in the comment section. Then I will get back to you. See you till the next time. Zai Hind. Bye.